pockets for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm, I'm so freely. Kid, 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 I need, kid, I need no one. You here, get your number. Thank you, kid. sir. Thank you. Come on. Because early on, you was accusing me of being. Cat, man. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, but you know, the, the, some of these people. Martin so tried to put me in my first dress. When he had to go on his hiatus, he tell me, Cat, when I come back, I need you. You my young partner, you my brother in comedy. When I come back, just promise me that my next movie, it'll be me and you. We gonna do it together. We gonna do some buddy cop shit. I said, Martin, you got my motherfucking word, my nigga. Go do what you gotta do. When you come back, I'm in your movie. Don't trip. I don't need to see the script or nothing. You know we get in that office and this fool pull out Big Mama's house too. I almost died. And I gotta read this script from all these good white people. Where this nigga want me to get in a dress with him. And I'm literally saying to everybody, why is he in a dress again? You already played the old lady as an FBI agent. We can play anything now. We can be playing a dog catcher this time. Why do we need to be in a dress? And I get so mad, I say, you don't want me. You want Brandon T. Jackson. And that's who they went and got. Twice I said it, they went and got him. Just like I'm telling you, I had that other dude's work. I had all of it. All I did was say, I want to punch it up so it's not offensive to real niggas. And that's how I got in this position. I sure hope I have a uh, club Shay Shay after this year. <laughs> it's gonna be in a dimension that's never been. Yeah, it's gonna be. A, it's gonna be <laughs> the greatest thing floating in 2024. Mark the words. No way. <laughs> in a in a whole different realm of business. <laughs> Oprah coming next. <laughs> <laughs> Once I establish this as a place of truth. Yeah. Oh yeah. Watch. Watch. <sighs> God's people ain't that few. Yeah. <laughs> Prince. You met Prince. Prince was a friend of mine. He was a friend of mine. What was those conversations? Because he, look, I mean, sometimes we don't really re understand or, or appreciate someone until they're gone. I did. I was a big Prince fan. All of his <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Because he could play all the instruments. He could sing. He could dance. He was an entertainer. Yeah. That could sing. And what he wrote. I mean, who thinks of Cherry Moons? Who thinks it snows in April? Who A Raspberry Beret or a, a, a Pink Cashmere. The thing, the Purple Rain, the things that he wrote about. Well, like, bro, who, who mind goes there? Yeah, he was, um, he was like any, unlike anybody in the world. Um, he, he was, um, he was just an amazing individual. I, I was able to meet him when I was 12 and I knew him um, my entire life through all of his changes. I was able to um, assist him many times. If you go look at Prince's car collection, you'll see that Prince don't have not one car Cat Williams ain't got. He got the Prowler from Friday after next sitting there. He got the same Bentley as me, like, because we share certain things. Our, our connection was lyrics, musical lyrics, um, women, and cars. And that's, those are the areas where he trusted uh, my opinion on things. And um, that's where I got to be helpful in his life. And he was helpful in mine in um, really all different types of ways, especially about the business as far as being a black man that was rich in this business at 18 years old, had already did his first million dollar contract, had already broken records, was determined that he didn't want to be like anybody else, was so great of a guitar player that black people just stopped caring about guitar and he got left out on a limb and somehow still had to create his way out of that. He was just really a, a, a one in a billion type person. I was lucky to know him. Now, there are specials and the streaming. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's as many and there's no DVDs now. So where so so where are you on this the streaming, the specials? I mean, obviously you, you still tour, but how much do you focus on, okay, I'm gonna tour, say a hundred days or 150 days, but I'm gonna do a special. Well, now that our relationship with Netflix is at the eight figure mark. Um eight? How how you said often, eight? How often you want to make them? Oh, you, you said eight? I mean, like, like right, right. five, six, seven, eight? 
<laughs> Gotta be 10 million to qualify, yeah. So what I'm saying is, once you're at that level, how I many would you do? I, 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 I'd be willing to bet you say, <laughs> every time you turn around, I'm gonna be doing another one. Hey. I think that's what you would say if you was any good. Yeah, and like sure. I said, like I said, with 12 comedy specials, why do I need to be in these conversations with these specialist people? Say it ain't got no specials you remember. Steve ain't got no specials you remember. Ricky ain't got no specials you remember. Faison ain't got no. What? So why do y'all get special? special? Yep, it was 20 minutes long. It was good too, though. It was. He's good. Not it was good. He's yeah, good. Yeah, see, that was, He's good. Don't think because I said something um, a derogatory that I, I I don't I don't know how to hate. Earthquake has consistently. I don't think anybody's ever said Quake wasn't funny. He he probably never been booed. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think he's ever given a bad performance. They thank you, my life. dog. But but um. But his just do was overdue. He was in a whole different situation. Yeah. Because he wasn't able to translate the stand up to the movie, movie thing. TV. He yeah. took a hit. Most people don't take a hit. They're just judged on their stand up. Right. So yeah, no. I I I even though it sounds like there's a lot of people I don't that's not the case. I I am a, I'm a proponent of all of us who are in this business working hard trying to make it. When you got in the stand up, was crossing over, was doing TV, was doing movie, was that a, was that a part of it? You're like, okay, I'm gonna do, I, I'm doing stand up. Okay, next next the the next progression is TV movies. Throughout throughout the history of stand up, sir, that's that's the goal for all of us. That's how it goes. That's why when you hear these dudes talking about, oh, I didn't want to be a movie star, you just know it's disingenuous. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Yeah. Oh no, no. I just wanted to do a game show. Right. What? Are you sure? Are you sure? Cause I thought you did Mark Curry's show over after he had just done hanging with Mr. Cooper. Why would you do all of that man's stuff that he did on his show on yours and then do the dude stand up when <laughs> you go on the road and then you never put Mark Curry on your show or nothing? Like, if you don't say anything, these dudes will run over you. I don't know if you know how bullies operate. I but do. if you don't stand up for yourself, there really is nothing they won't do. Right. You're a very generous man, Kat. Uh, you, you're the sole sponsor of Melville Moore, <laughs> getting a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You, you did all that on your own. Why? What, do you have a personal relationship with Melville? No, no. I, um, I, I understood that she was a black woman in a time where it mattered what you look like and they had a certain thing that they needed you to look like and act like in order to be successful. Right. And she just never did that. She wasn't tall enough. She wasn't fine. Uh, they didn't like her looks. They didn't like that her hair was natural. They talked crazy about her and yet she still made all of these achievements and I'm like, understand, I'm already in the Comedy Hall of Fame. I'm already going to heaven no matter what happens. If it ends in a second, I'm up there. So it gives me the leeway to do some things that are simply because it's the right thing to do. So the truth of the matter is they wanted to give me a star, but please don't consider me and this, this person been sitting on this list this whole time. And just because they ain't got enough money, they can't get they just do. That's crazy. When do you start? That That's hurtful. What if somebody can't afford their flowers? You mean they don't get them? No, God don't operate like that. He would send a dummy like me to come and take care of that. Just so that the right thing happens. That's how the universe works. Because remember, I don't, what am I spending my money on? I'm not spending my money on strippers. I ain't spending them on drugs. Why not? Like, Stripper what? Parts. Because if I go in a if I go in a strip club, I'm only trying to get her out of there. Yeah. I have no intention of her or any other people being in this position. If I see a girl I like at the strip club, I'm telling her, you know, you don't have to strip no more after this. This could be your last day. Damn it! How about that? Ooh. 
What would it be like just to leave it all? You ain't gotta be all no more. I don't even want you to go get your purse. Just leave it. Ain't nothing. We get new ID. We get new ID and credit card and social security card. We don't need none of that. That, 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 that. None of that. This life don't look good on you. Yeah, shit. You don't even look like a drug got, addict. Got me thinking, got me thinking, <laughs> cat. Yeah. You hear these athletes talking about, yeah, we was out there tricking the, what? Why? You're part of the problem. You're part of the problem. Stop paying people that you don't have no respect for. It sets it up bad for us. We got women out here can't find a man because they acting like him. Mm. You are out for. Now the alphas all want these subservient husbands. You can't have one. No. <laughs> mm -mm. That ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. Mm -mm. Sorry about that. Okay, go ahead. Boy, you done got me canceled. How many times in this program? Where's the camera? I didn't write nothing I said tonight. It's all been on these cue cards and I'm just gonna keep reading them. <laughs> Ask your next question. Uh, the Migos. Do you help them get out of financial situation? I don't think we ever, as a nation, can remember a time that the Migos were financially unsuccessful. So for the record, I would assume that they've never needed Cat Williams' financial assistance for anything. I'm sure that between QC, the label, and other things, they were taken care of. On the other hand, if I was given the opportunity to help them, would I? Of course I would. That's what I do. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm a pro-black non-racist. Like, I really, really love black people, but I don't love them more than other people. I love everybody. I just, I'm a black guy and I, 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 I try to stick with that. But um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not one of those uh, pillow talkers either. Like when I do something good, mm -hmm. I'm really not doing it for the gram. It's not, it's not for, it's not for any of that. I'm just doing it because it's good to do. I appreciate that. I read, I don't know if this is true, but I did read that comedians on your show say that women sometimes would bring them money and not say where it came from. Say that again. Comedians would say women would bring them money and not say where it came from. Uh, right. So um, I'm not a feminist like um, a feminist would be, mm -hmm. but I do believe that there are no there that in my camp, like if I had 35 people in my camp, right? right? I believe that other than four jobs, I believe that a woman is better at any of them jobs than any man could be. Okay. So 10 of these jobs, no man can work because I'd rather a female be there. If I gotta smell anybody's breath, I want it to be hers. <laughs> I don't want none of you crusty. Like I, so, so what I'm saying is it, it, in a staffing issue, I'm gonna have 75% women just cause I prefer them. Right. I, I don't prefer to hear two guys talking in the corner. I prefer to hear two ladies talking in the corner. I don't care what they're talking about. I just prefer that. So a lot of times I will utilize ladies to convey a message if a comedian is doing a great job um, somewhere in the country he, he just did a masterful set and nobody's gonna pay him they just clapping and I know he's broke as shit back there wouldn't it be nice if somebody just showed up and gave him a little blessing and he didn't have to suck me off for it. And thanks, Cat. And this, boy, I really needed it. Why would you do that? If you was actually just trying to help people, you would. People know that's how I pay my tithes. If I got paid hundred thousand dollars to be at your city, I'm gonna take ten thousand of that and put it in your homeless area. Not because I got to because you gave me a hundred racks to come to your little rinky-dink town. Who would I be to not pay my tithes back to your town? That's how I got in this position. Wow. You adopted seven kids. <clears throat> Why? That's a lot of kids 
for a man that's as busy as you are, travels as much as you do, on the road as much as you are, spend a lot of time because you have to spend a lot. I mean, it's not easy. I mean, maybe it comes just so comes so natural to you to put pen to paper and to write things down and be able to go out there and perform a set. But that's a lot of responsibility, Kat. Right. Right. But if there was a God, what would he think about you if you did that? I'm saying let's just let's say for example okay. that God is real. Yes. Okay. And let's say he be looking at what you do. Yes. What would he say if you did that? He said that cat. That's that's a very that's a very kind right. gesture. That's very generous no. of you. My whole life, since I was telling you when I was young, and they was asking me what I wanted to be, and nothing I wanted to be was what I wanted to be God's friend. That's a weird thing if you are atheist. If you're an atheist, I didn't even say nothing. But if you believe in God and I tell you that I wanted to be God's friend and I wanted to even go to Hollywood and still be God's friend. If I told you that that was my aim, you could understand where I'm at. Like, <laughs> I, I promise you, I, no jealousy, no bitterness, no, none of that. I got exactly what I was trying to get. I haven't been shorted in any way. I mean, seven, eight kids, single. You gonna get married? You, you remember the conversation where I was, where it was me? Yes. And I didn't know what was gonna happen to my two little brothers and yes. it was just gonna be out there? Yes. So when it gone full circle and I'm one of the position. I'm one of the richest men that ever lived. And I don't I don't I don't mean, please don't look at my net worth. I saw my net worth. I I had that on me. <laughs> I don't know. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm saying is, like, <laughs> I'm saying my net worth is less than my last Netflix deal. Uh -oh. <laughs> you understand what I'm telling Make you? Make it make sense. <laughs> but I'm fine. Jesus was poor. Jesus ain't had nothing. So why don't we be mad? You say I don't have nothing. They had the minutes they have back then, okay. Say it again. We got different amenities now. Not, not more than gold. Gold was the amenity of that time. We still got gold. <laughs> gold still run it. They have no Rolls Royce. They got a, you. You can buy. You can buy an ass. That's what they call it in the biblical time. They were cheap. <laughs> I'm saying, if you really want to say, I'm saying a color nan is cheap. So back in the day, I would give my girl a donkey. Today we get her a color nan. But I'm saying, whoever, I'm saying whoever and whatever it is, I'm saying we. Yeah, 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 what you I'm saying because what we gonna do? I done already told you, I'm one of the richest people that ever lived. Yes. Only in the fact that when I wake up in the morning, no matter where I am, I don't need nothing. Whatever I need is right around me. Whatever I don't have, it's only just because I don't have it. It's not because I can't get it. All I got to do is want it, and it belongs to me. So because of that, because I'm favored by God, like when I see people's wives and stuff, I don't even look at them. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't want to look at nothing I don't want to have because I, I know how blessed I am. If I look at it, I got it. Yeah. That's how Diddy be feeling. Now, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> So, you're not supposed to look at anything that you don't want. Not me personally, just because God has given me literally everything I ever even pump faked like I want. And uh, that's the whole thing. That's that's the whole thing is I don't I don't have a type of woman. Every woman that I ever had as a type, I ended up getting her. Now she's not the type anymore. Now I understand that every woman is a one of one. Like you can't really have types. Mm. Mm -hmm. What? Cause he, see, I tried to ask me something about marriage, but then I, I ain't say nothing about no marriage. Yeah, you did. When you rewind the tape, you you let it out. You was like, so you ever gonna get married? And then you took it back. It's okay. It's okay. I, are you? I, I wasn't known as a photographic are memory. Are you? I'm not against it. Like most people that are not married is because they're afraid of commitment. It's right. not that like that for me. It's just <clears throat> the whole time I wanted to be married, I 
I had kids, so I had to try to fill my wife's place before she got there. So right. I'm already got kids without a mother, but so now I, I got to be doing laundry. I'm, I'm washing dishes. I'm reading stories. I mean, I'm having to nurture. I'm having to do all of this, and I got to the point where I didn't need the wife. I'm doing it, and we're doing it, and I'm not replacing a woman in their lives.